what's the crack les welcome back to the channel we are back with the worldwide player of the week now you can get a free spin at this by doing the event against the ai as normal it takes about maybe 30 minutes i would say and you get a chance at spinning one of these right now there are three players that you can spin for with coins and then that's it you're locked out same as the european one i would say the european one is quite unique in the players that they have but there are some good players in this i know a lot of people are waiting for the uh, the youngster here as well the center forward well he's not a youngster but he seems to have kind of burst onto the scene a little bit more in the last couple of years again i don't really follow um portuguese football as much as i possibly should but this guy i'm hearing a lot about him very very lately and he is a bit of a beast in the game as well he looks decent he's kind of like a throwback kind of Lewandowski type player really good finishing it's not the best card but the thing i like about this guy lads is he just feels like a monster on the pitch he's very strong very physically imposing for a center forward but he still has acceleration and speed that go to the 85 plus his attack and awareness is over 85 his dribbling his type possession his ball control he is as close to ronaldo as you're going to get in the game if you don't have ronaldo of course obviously he's not going to be as good as ronaldo's showtime card but he's a very solid card with how he handles he's strong he's fast he's physical and he's got a lot of nice player skills so i know a lot of people ask me about him we also have Dries Martins, and of course we have Gabia and Teze here as well as Jonathan Rowe and Pablo Torre. Now we actually signed this guy Pablo Torre here uh, as a box-to-box, -box. very solid man on our free-to-play account. Doesn't have amazing stats, right? Gavi, Pedri, even in Barcelona teammates, they're going to be pretty much better than him, but he is very silky on the ball as a box-to-box. -box. He's actually quite rugged, he doesn't have much physicality, but he just kind of glides around the pitch, so it's not a bad card if you spin him these five down here including martins i remember the day lads when martins was one of the best players in pez in pez 2019 2020 he was insane absolutely insane in my club throwback but tight possession there is really nice his balance is nice but it is just kind of an average card as a whole player now you know um he's not really as silky as he could be even though he has super sub that does kind of sum up where this card needs to be double touch and soul control you are going to be missing flip flap for the advanced double touch and the one thing i don't like about this card man is his player id just doesn't seem to be as good i've actually used martin's not this exact card but i have used another version of him before and he just never seemed he just kind of floats through games he doesn't really do anything now i'm sure some of you guys will will like him you also have a left winger here that's just pure pace none of these guys have boosters here you've got interception and super sub with a left winger can play right or left super sub again this is what this card is is for right i've been down on the player of the week lads honestly but i like that they're bringing different types of cards in that's what this should be you know, we don't need 10 versions of Harry Kane or 10 versions of Haaland. We need different cards, you know, to put, this, put the, the highlight on them, right? Glad to see as well that this guy, Teze, gets a bit rewarded. He's been playing really, really well. Um, he's had a good start to the season. And he's been a solid player for the last couple of years as well. Blocker, heading, acrobatic clearance, fighting spirit. But again, nothing really to shout home about, right? Where it starts to get a little bit exciting is David De Gea, right? Very good card, very solid card. I think De Gea is definitely one of the most slept on keepers in the game. He's back in the game. He's tall, he's strong, he's fast. And of course, well, not fast in terms of sprinting, but fast reflexes. He's got 92 reflexes, we'll go, we'll go to 95. Everything that you see here, reach, awareness, and reflexes, they're the three that you need. They're all going to be in the 90, so it's a very solid uh, goalkeeper. Madison, bit disappointed with this card, boys. His speed is really, really bad, even though his balance and tight position are insane. As a whole player, he's probably the pick of this week, plus he gets the booster. But I am a little bit annoyed that he doesn't get the booster to his speed. And the acceleration doesn't go to 85, so it's kind of a waste of a booster here. Plus he gets a booster to his aggression and physical contact, which, as a hard worker, I would have definitely thought, you know, agility might be better than him. And that would have given you a bit more. But yeah, it's not the worst card in the world, obviously. Um, he does have track back and interception. But yeah, for me, it's not really that good of a center midfielder now darwin nunes who remembers his old school card in the first week or first month of eFootball 22 he was insane a seriously seriously underrated hidden gem and then obviously he burst onto the scene with liverpool and that was only like what three years ago he's amazing this card is really really good anything that i said about gekieras um is is really really going to hold true here his ball control and dribbling are okay his finishing is going to go to 90 his speed is going to go to 90 his acceleration is going to be 85 plus the manager boost it's a very solid card lads and i do feel that this is the type of card that you could just absolutely dominate with even though his stats aren't great because he's kind of that unique height strength kind of balance build because he's got you know phys physical contact he's 85 with the boost 
acceleration and speed are going to be nearly 90 and that's very nice and he's also got low balance and tight possession which kills him but he's also good in the air so not the best car but for a player of the week it's not bad uh, kind of very similar these two players here now Nicholas Jackson he's been having a great season for Chelsea they've kind of turned it around a little bit very solid card right acceleration and speed are going to be plus 90 he gets a booster here as well finishing speed acceleration are going to be over 90 but that's where the buck stops with him as a goal poacher right he does have striker's instinct he does have fighting spirit but he doesn't have one touch pass he doesn't have long range curler he doesn't have one uh first time shot it's not a great card and i think that these three strikers are very interchangeable you know they're not really the finished article but you can have fun with them that brings us on to vinnie jr right so vinnie jr down here is going to have 90 plus in ball control dribbling speed acceleration his balance and type position are going to be very solid as well over 85 he actually is passing and finishing at a really nice clip as well and his stamina is solid with attack and awareness it's a very solid card right now i actually do think that this vinnie is probably one of the best dribblers in the game he also has super sub first time shot outside curler pimp and cross and flip flap double touch soul control very very solid now for you guys unaware right there is a brand new card in the eFootball shop i know you guys might not ever check this because they don't ever really update it but there is a brand new vinnie jr in the car in the shop here i say brand new but it's an old re-release this vinnie jr has been out before i also have this card it's a really fun card now this is going to cost you 5,000 e eFootball points if you want to get him you can he's going to cost you only 5,000 there now we already have him right but it is a solid card i am going to do a review on him i'm going to do a comparison between him and the showtime and a couple of different versions of him which to go for the player of the week versus this guy i think this guy probably takes it he's just you know he's got 29 levels you can train him up very similar and he's just an absolute beast on the pitch so let me know what you guys think of that player of the week and we'll be back with the Vinny jr video very soon don't forget to smash that subscription button and i'll talk to you in a bit peace